Yo! So, good vibes and drinks. You see, today, let me start by telling you a little bit about this side of the world. Because from this side of the world, we are thankful and uh, people say thanks when they are given something. And today, I start by thanking this guy called Demand. Demand one, two. That guy hit the super thanks button and left us $10 there. Respect to him. You see, people say thanks in different ways. Others in different community here, others they even bow down and die. But today, Demand received some crap for that. Respect yourself. And, ah, good vibes, man. And now, wonderful source, if you have clicked this video, also respect yourself. You are a wonderful soul. And I'm sure you will hit the like button. Can even give you a minute to do so. Hey, not a minute. It's too long. Anyway, we shall react to these videos together. You see? Just to spread love, peace, forgiveness, honesty, and unity among all humans. Straight out of Africa. I'm your Good Vibes host. Y311 Hitchman with lots of good vibes. Let's dive in. Oh, wait, whoa, what is this? What is this now? Hey, this is a new beginning and we are seeing this stuff here. Some mountains that looked like they were shaped in a human shape, human faces. How is this possible? Do you think these were normal carvings or... Uh, huh, how it happened here? This is creepy, man. Look at these faces. What do you think the universe was trying to tell us? Is trying to tell us that it is one with us and it understands us, or what is going on? Huh? Good vibes, sad drinks. Thank you very much for clicking. Respect, man. Kindly watch it at the end. You see videos that are coming; they are good vibes videos. Some will make you be very surprised. <laughs> Let's keep watching. Like now, this one. Did you know there is some mountains that uh, almost resemble you? Oh, you see, or me? I did it to myself. Look at this one, it looks like it is someone that fell in a ditch and their face was facing upwards. Where is the body? Oh my god, this is crazy, man. What caveman used to do this uh, type of art uh, long ago? Huh? That's how they used to build their houses. Uh, or uh, You see, this one looks like a uh, caveman from the past. They could shape their faces on their caves or what? So that you can know whose house it is from a distance. Oh, maybe that's how it used to go, you see? Or what do you think good vibes people? Maybe, or uh, leave your thoughts, you see? Yes. Uh, ولا سح. ولا ولا شعوذي. ولا متعزم عليها. ولا عليها تواصل. ولا الكلام ده كله احنا ما نشف الحوارات بيها بشمية. شايف الحجر بيتلون ازاي لوحده مع النار؟ عنوان يا عم احمد ارض الصلحيه عماره حمامه كان الخليل وكل فخر وصنع في مصر واثبت له وجودك بتحيا مصر تعال على الحجر تاني بص كده عشان الناس بس العلبه فاضيه اهي Yes. Hey, what type of jewel is that? Hey, and then there's this book here. Well, some crazy book that even to handle it, you must put on your gloves. Or why is this guy putting on gloves? Well, do you think it's uh, just his drip for some fun? Leave your thoughts. Because now, maybe he's putting on these gloves because of this book. Because look at this book. Does this book look like modern times book? Eh? Good people of earth, eh, teachers and those watching. If you are a teacher there, big up to yourself. Do you have this book in your syllabus? Myself, oh, I've never seen this book. Or the English people, where you come from. Have you ever, look at this one. The cover is eh, also creepy. Oh my god. Mad stuff. Mad, mad stuff. What? Some UFO caught living at hypersonic speed. Where was it living? From this place towards where? Oh my god. Do you mean this stuff really exists or what's going down? Good people of that. Give your thoughts, man. Hey. 
Oh my god. What's up with the, this uh, professor here? Good vibes man has some uh, oh, looks like uh, skeletons of other creatures. Look at this ones. This ones do not look like humans. What are this stuff? Where do these people get these bones? Are this even real? Oh, is the oh my god. Hey. You these people. What is this thing? Hmm. Um. This is some creepy stuff, man. Too. Many they said like they were going through some X-ray or something like that, and they were roasted. Or what happened here? Hey, you see they are all stuck in some funny, peculiar position. What is going on? Oh my god. How do you know these uh, scientist people get this stuff? Or these are the stuff that we see that come with uh, those stuff that looks like disc-shaped ships we have been seeing in previous uh, episodes, you see? Like that one which has just passed which was dashing in the sky there. Or maybe this stuff fall for in, from uh, inside those stuff. Or what do you think good are things? You see? Or there are just skeletons of some uh, creatures here or another that you don't know about. You see, you have realized that this side is full of wonders. You see? Hmm. Oh my god. Look at the x-ray of this stuff. This is how they look. Oh. This is insane, man. Looks like uh, the here yeah, the face is uh, alive and it can see. You see, it's an X-ray, and uh, this creature does not look like it has been X-rayed. It still looks like it is. Uh, it is the way it was. How? Oh, oh my God! What is this creature? Anyway, good people of Earth, as we try to understand this stuff also, you see, and uh, maybe that chance to hit the like button here. Has uh, we felt like I uh, passed you? It hasn't. I have given you another one. Please do so there. Hit the like button kindly. So that is spread love to the whole world. And now stuff like this wouldn't even be anonymous to us. Because uh, people could have been honest with one another from the past. And uh, this stuff could also be taught in school. We could have known this stuff out of us. Or what do you think what of what huh? Hmm. Look at the backside. Hey, looks like uh, it has some ring there attached to the bone, some metal. How is this possible? How can the, these animals or these creatures do this? Oh. Ah, this is surprising. All these people there, I'm sure they are amazed. You see? What could you have done, good people of Earth, if you came across uh, such skeletons when you are farming, maybe? You see, when you are farming, you could dig holes sometimes to plant things like bananas. You see, bananas need big holes. Imagine digging a hole to plant your banana there and you come across skeletons like this in your backyard. What could you do or what could cross your mind? Eh? Would you think this is normal stuff or uh, someone had planted them there to prank you? Or what do you think? You see, because your know, stuff like this one, it does not look uh, like normal skeleton. You see, you don't know much about uh, this biology stuff, but from uh, the few I, I cry, catch it here and there in school, I understood that skeletons do not look like this. The one, uh, the skull for the head of human is uh, not big like this one. Hey, and this now is different humans. Or do you think good people of us, uh, your skull is this big? Eh? Because this, they have a big skull and small body. And you wonder what's going on there, eh? This is really surprising. Why are they seated in that position? Is it like some defense mechanism? Or what's that, eh? Maybe they'll explode soon. Good people, but this stuff are creepy and uh, we need one another step to understand this, you see? And this guy here uh, who probably looks like someone's father, brother or grandfather is also surprised. You can see there he's uh, talking with that guy he must be surprised that he's probably wondering what are these? You see, maybe telling people my ancestors uh, told me stories, but I didn't believe I could see this stuff. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh. 
Now what do you call this? If you were to give this animal here or this creature a name according to just how it is shaped. Wonderful earthlings. Why don't we try and give it a name? You see, uh, instead of always calling them uh, UFOs, we can try and give them a name here. Leave a comment there of some name which you'd give to this creature. Say, you see, what race do we call them? Or, uh, because these ones, they do not look human at all. Look at the size of the eyes, the nose, where it is located. Hi! Hey! This is not normal. It looks like they have even changed them to stones. Huh? Hey, wonderful adding. Oh, by the way, there is some good vibes people there that have been doing some great work. In the comment section, let me take this time to mention a few. Some people there like Christy Hutchins, like Josie, MJ Stinson. Hi, MJ Stinson, how are you doing there? Uh, another person there called at Gina DMC. Lots of love, man, to you guys at George Jr. What is leaving uh, at emojis there? Lots of love and respect to yourself. You see, at above average job. Uh, how are you doing, bro? Uh, how is everything from that side of the world? Is it raining like here? You see, here we are having rains, uh, frequent rains at times. How is the weather there? Tell us. How do we do this stuff? Uh, Creepy man. This photo was taken in Victoria, Australia. The picture is said to show a Sasmesian tiger. I don't know what that is. Despite sightings of these creatures. Are you ready to have your mind blown? This is from July 2023. Watch this video. It's Deep Fake Friday. And we're talking to an innovative company that can replicate any human's face, voice, and personality through an algorithmic process in a matter of minutes. Don't believe me? Well, I'm not real. I'm a Brian Sullivan digital double created by a startup called Brask using images and video of the real Brian to compile what's called a mask. I'm being replicated by a stand-in actor to read this monologue and then my appearance and voice is changed using artificial intelligence. So now that I've got your attention, let's send it back to the real Brian Sullivan as we dive deeper into this revolutionary technology. I have not seen that before that. They told me I could not look at it, just kind of wear the same thing. That was amazing, a little terrifying. I'm, I'm shocked at how handsome I actually am. But other than that, it was a little bit, I mean, that's, this is amazing. So let's talk about that now. Huh. Here it does, man. Oh my God. What could that be on the water there? Oh. Is it swimming fear or is it... Uh, what is that thing doing? That is creepy, man. Is that a bird, a fish, or some uh, human with uh, another abilities? Or what's going on? Because look at that. Oh, man. And that stuff came forward from the water to the land. What type of movement is that? Hey, there's crazy stuff on this earth. Good people of us, you see? Hey, it's why we should unite. You see, unity is a good thing. And love. And always being forgiving towards another. You see? And loving people for whom they are. Despite the differences in whatever. In color, religion, all that. You see? That way we can, uh, we can always do great stuff. You see? Look at this animal. Oh my god. You see, maybe we are calling this one an animal and it's a robot. What is that thing now? Please leave comments, you see? Because, uh, what? How can you explain that? Hey, crazy I just stuff. Had a question, real quick. I wanted to know what you uh, thought about the regressions that are going on with alien hybrids that are uh, abducting people and they're going through uh, hypnosis and all coming right, out all right, with all a right, negative all right, connotation all right. about it. We understand. All right, thanks. Now, first of all, understand that. The idea that sometimes is called the abduction phenomenology on your planet yeah. is a variety of many different things okay. and includes many different kinds of species. The species that most people on your planet often report seeing in those scenarios, you typically call the greys. Yeah. Understand the greys are not an extraterrestrial alien species. Well, I know. Well, one moment. I... One moment. Sorry, sir. I'm getting there. All right. The greys are a mutated race of humans from a parallel Earth. 
They okay. have destroyed their reality and have no ability to reproduce. Therefore, they are coming into a parallel Earth reality, yours among others, where there is still viable human DNA. They use that human DNA and mix it with their own to create a hybrid race of beings. There are, to our awareness, five hybrid races of which our civilization is one. That is the result of that program. Now, we understand that many people on your planet have had fearful experiences with this, and in no way, shape, or form are we excusing the idea that some of the greys, being devoid of an emotional component, don't necessarily go about those interactions in the best or most positive way that they could, because they simply don't understand anymore what an emotional fear reaction is. And therefore, to them, it's just business as usual, and why are you putting up such a fuss? Because you agreed to this on another level. <laughs> and many of the beings that humans interact with in those scenarios are actually another version of the same soul in another incarnation. So they're interacting with themselves anyway and have set this whole thing up for the purpose of helping to create these hybrid species because this is also, in a sense, the next stage of evolution for your world as well. In other words, in about a thousand of your years, human beings will choose to no longer incarnate in the same form in which they are now existing on your planet, and Earth will become the sixth hybrid civilization. But I mean, yes. um, seeing how he, hybrids have already kind of messed up their own no 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 procreate. the grays not the hybrids the grays destroyed their world the hybrids are the result of the blending of the grays and the humans from your reality to create a more positive reality that will allow them to move on and not destroy themselves again, while at the same time giving you the benefit of their experience, which is why in many abduction scenarios, you hear people reporting that the grays have told them, we are you, and this is what happened to our world. Look to your ecology, look to your environment, and don't do what we did. You understand? Okay, so, I mean, so human hybrid is good? There are many different kinds of hybrids. The idea is uh, that if it's all of been you. Done, then how's it good? All of you are hybrids already. Because the idea is that, as we already said, whatever the indigenous hominid species was on your planet millions of years ago has already been genetically altered by extraterrestrial beings a long time ago. So you're already part and parcel of beings from the stars. Many of them, in a sense, look like you because you actually look like them. So you're already hybridized. The hybridization that is going on now is for a positive reason. Many of you are starting to wake up to this idea. When you let go of your fear, you will see, you will know, you'll have more control, you'll have more awareness, you'll have more ability to interact in a conscious way in these programs, and you will remember that you agreed to this and what part you're playing in the creation of the evolution of your species. Oh my god, I feel like it just roasted my mind. Right, here's my little illustration of Revelation 14.10, but also Revelation 19.3 kind of combined together. It basically says that the smoke goes up forever and ever, and that they are consumed and tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the Lamb and the angels. And so here is hell, so to speak, and we have the smoke of their torment going up forever. We have the holy angels and all the saints worshipping the Lamb, and all of this smoke and their torment is all within the presence of the Lamb. Now, I'm not saying that the earth is flat. This is just a visual representation of, you know, just something so that way you can actually see the scripture, so to speak. So I hope this helps all of my visual learners out there. Oh, has that helped you? Please leave a comment. If you're watching this videotape, don't think just because you hear what I'm saying and you can repeat a bit of it that you know it. You want to watch it over and over and over again. You get one of the most magnificent tools in your hand that you'll ever get your hands on. Now, I want this to represent X-type conditioning in your life. Let it represent X-type conditioning. Let this represent the Y-type idea. Now, watch. You're watching with your eyes.
You don't see any change, do you, Reen? Al, do you see any change? No, I don't. You don't see any change. But your understanding tells you that it's not as dark as it was before I put the clear water in, doesn't it? You see, as you impress the bigger idea, the old conditioning becomes weaker. And as we keep doing it, it becomes weaker. And it becomes weaker. And it becomes weaker. But you see, our eyes deceive us. We can't see any difference. But every time we watch the video, every time we turn on the set, every time we review the paragraph with the tape, every time we watch this idea being explained, the old conditioning becomes weaker and weaker and weaker. And if we will keep impressing it, even although it appears that everything outside is remaining the same, our inner eye of understanding tells us it's not the same, that it is becoming weaker. Now, I want you to think, I want you to think, even although you experience some doubt and fear and anxiety, you understand what's causing that. It's the change that's taking place in the mind. That's what Paul talked about, the renewal of the mind. Now, Thoreau one time said something that is so rich with truth. He said, if you will endeavor to live the life you have imagined. That's the new idea, the why idea. He said, any person who advances confidently, and you've got to do it with confidence, and that comes with understanding. Any person who will advance confidently in the direction of their dream and endeavor to live the life they imagined, they will meet with success unexpected in common hours. Now watch this because one day you're going to wake up and everything will have changed. Just like that. And your life will never be the same again. That's the way it works. That's called awakening. And that's what Al's what life looks like now, isn't it, Al? Absolutely. How did John start out talking about Lee? He said, I couldn't give you what I've got because you got too much of what you got. But if you work with it just a little bit at a time, I guarantee you'll bust through that terror barrier and you will experience the freedom that I might add you were born into. Have you ever wondered why you're attracted to the baby? It doesn't matter the race, the religion, the creed, the cult. None of those things matter. If a mother or father standing in front of you in the shopping line, you've got the strongest urge to reach out and touch that baby. Sometimes you'll want to hold it and just kiss it. <laughs> you will. Sometimes you cannot contain yourself, even though you don't know the people. You'll, you'll look hesitantly at the parent just, just so you can touch the little baby's hand and let it hold your little finger. Why do you think that is? Why do you think there's such a strong magnetic pull? Think about it. It was Kipling said that I love those little people and it is no small thing when they who are so fresh from God love me. You see, we are created in a magnificent vibration in an absolutely magnificent vibration. Born risk takers. Free. That conditioning takes place after birth. You can change it. it takes guts. It takes goals. Now, do you know something? You're sitting there watching this, and you're thinking, my God, I'm going to change something. I had a man telling me this here today at one of the breaks. He said, I'm getting so excited, I can hardly contain myself. He said, I just feel so happy. I said, you want to know something? You keep watching this, and you keep watching this, and you'll get happier and happier, and you're going to get to the point where you think, oh, I couldn't get any happier, and then you'll get happier. <laughs> now, if you're going to change, you know there's only one time to do it? Right now. Right now. Regardless of the fear, regardless of the doubt, Regardless of the flack from his buddies at work, he made a decision. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. 
Only engage and the mind will grow heated, begin, and the work will be completed. Emerson said, do the thing and you'll get the energy to do the thing. You can go busting through this and I'm going to tell you with this understanding that you've got, then that you're heightening, that you're developing higher and higher and higher again, you can turn it into an awareness and enthusiasm. It does not have to be a terror barrier. It can just excite the daylights out of you. Does it scare us? Yeah, sometimes. Do we doubt? Yeah, sometimes. Do we experience some anxiety? Yep, sometimes. Some more than others. But that wouldn't stop us. Because we understand. If we advance confidently in the direction of our dreams and endeavor to live the life we've imagined, we're going to meet success unexpected in common hours. Now you've got to make a commitment. We made a commitment. It's not an accident we attracted all these people. It's not an accident we're doing what we're doing. It's not an accident. We've had lawyers, psychiatrists, some of the most senior executives in some of the largest companies in the world tell us there's nothing will equal this. And I know why. I know why. Because we're giving an understanding to a person of who they really are. We're not just giving them some technique that's intellectual or physical or academic. Powers within you. You've got to write out your commitment. A commitment is a directive to yourself. It's a directive to yourself. I remember one time reading somewhere that the mark of a superior performer is a person that can give themselves a command and then follow it. Remember, it makes no difference whether your goal is starting a new business, buying a new automobile, a position at work, setting a sales record, or earning an honors mark in school. Whatever it may be, you must step out boldly and pursue it. Motivation and education leads to wise decisions and intelligent action and enables us to enjoy the prosperity which is our birthright. Now we say keep reminding yourself that you have tremendous reservoirs of potential within you and right. therefore you are quite capable of doing anything you set your mind to. You really can. I don't care what the cynics tell you. Quit listening to some of your peers. Want to shoot a better ball golf game? Quit golfing with your friends. Now all you must do is figure out how you can do it, not whether you can or not. Just think of how you can. Forget about whether you can or not. You know you can. You just have to find out how. Begin to visualize yourself as a risk taker and then starting telling yourself that you are one. Become fully aware of the good vibrations you get simply by virtue of practicing these simple exercises. I've been quoting William James or James Allen through every lesson I think I've given you this quote. Your circumstances may not be congenial, but they will not long remain so if you perceive an ideal and strive to reach it. Now, you're going to make some major exciting moves. You've been thinking about them. You're committing yourself to it. When are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? You've got to create a sense of urgency. I'm going to do it right now. Yo, man. That's an um, interesting speech there. Interesting speech by that one of a good vibes guy, man. Huh? I'll just leave your comments. Look at this. Hey, this is a visual. Uh, what is this? Wait, wait. What are we seeing here, good people of us? Oh, is this uh, some piece of paper in the water or a it's fish? It's funny that the history books up until recent times depicts the only really means of transportation are those dusty old Model T Fords or horse and buggy. They never showed the many awesome innovative crafts the old world had that moved them. I believe the main reason behind that, besides from the many examples of our hidden history, but it's the alternate fuel sources so many of these relied on, like the horseless carriage here. It was a horseless driver with a robotic driver, and it was powered by steam. Steam-powered vehicles, compressed air vehicles, electric vehicles were quite prevalent before gas-powered vehicles came along. But seeing all these vehicles, rough concepts or otherwise, shows just an immense amount of innovation the old world had. Even remote control tanks. And now everything's so commercialized and bland. 
Would have been a great time to be alive to see some of these in action. Question everything, friend. Until next time. Oh, man. Those cars that you could move on the water look so cool. I don't get it. I don't get it either. How am I just seeing Put it back. Circles? How are we seeing the shadow of the tree from the flashlight when it's the sky behind the tree? And why is there a stop point at the end of my flashlight when it's pointed at the sky? Why isn't it going on? farther like what the fuck is this don't cuss i'm sorry it doesn't make any sense why you can see the shadow maybe i'm just dumb and i just don't get it you see the shadow there's a fucking shadow in the sky you can see the shadow <laughs> let me see if i can zoom there's a shadow and like i don't get it you're going too fast honey why okay the circle of light. I don't feel like I've ever seen that before in my life. I don't think I have either. Not in the sky. It just kind of disappears, you know? Ooh. I wonder if I'm standing in front of the house if I could see this. Because you know those party lights? Like the party lasers and stuff? Yeah. Oh man, good people of us. Don't you think that is creepy? Hey, what is this? Oh, look at that stuff there in the sky. Oh my god. Oh, what is that thing? What is that thing? Oh my god. Looks like it is falling. What? Is that some explosion? Or what's going on? Oh my god. This is crazy, man. What? Wonderful address. Before we even wrap it, as we are wrapping it, let me big up everybody that have watched up to this far. And to the newbies said uh, new subscribers, I will visit us. Much love to yourself. You are loved and respected. Kindly join us there. Hit the subscribe button, the membership button, and uh, never forget to hit the like button. You see? And this is home. Leave some comment there if it's your first time here and tell us where you are watching from. Tell us even your name. That way it will be. Communicating or not do the wonderful admins. Good vibes to you, man. Peace and love be with you. Till next time. See?